Okay, so obviously this is a different kind of video. And if you read the title, you've probably gathered that I am doing a solar project in that shed back there. So basically we've had this shed in our backyard uh, for a while and there's nothing really in it. There's no power running to it and it's in decent shape. I mean, there's obviously some work to be done on uh, the ramp that goes in, there's some uh, rotting on the floorboards, so some of that's going to have to be replaced. But in general, it's a pretty decent structure in a big old space to do basically anything we want with. So the plan is to turn it into a she shed, kind of party shed type thing. Uh, we want to put like a bar in there and a futon, a TV, you know, run some lights. And obviously you need power to do that. And being in Texas, obviously you need air condition. So we want to put a small window unit that can handle both air condition and some heating uh, because, you know, it does get kind of cold in Texas in the winter. And unfortunately, the main panel is on this side of the house, while obviously the shed is way over there. So, I mean, we could run power to it. That's an option, obviously, but Solar's more fun. I can make videos out of it and you don't have to pay for electricity after it's installed. So let me kind of walk through uh, my diagram of what I plan to do about the solar setup. And I'm basically asking for any type of help. I've done very minimalistic solar projects in the past, uh, but this is obviously a more major one. So any help in terms of solar or with, you know, constructions, what to do, what not to do, um, within the shed definitely be appreciated down in the comments. So here's my beautifully mocked up diagram for my plan. So the plan is to do um, 800 watts, uh, eight 100 watt panels. So I'm going with Renogy. They seem to be a reputable brand um, in the solar space. So I'm going with eight 100 watt panels uh, the open current max voltage is 22 volts for that and uh, the max current is about 5.6 amps so the configuration i want to do it in is uh, paralleled four in series so essentially what we're getting is two separate four seried strings in parallel so you know dealing with electronics Spoiler, I have an electrical engineering degree. That doesn't mean um, I'm any better at hooking up solar panels than anybody else out there, but I do have somewhat of a background in electrical stuff. So essentially, uh, when you're wiring it in series, what that's gonna do is add voltage, but keep the current the same. And when you put it in parallel, that is going to keep the voltage the same, but uh, double the current or add the current. So essentially what this is doing is saying uh, four 100 watt panels uh, at 22 max volts will give us around 88 volts at 5.6 ish amps. And then when we put that in parallel, that's going to keep it at 88 volts, but double our current to around 11 amps. So that is going to our controller. I'm going with the Renogy uh, MPPT a 40 amp controller to charge our batteries. And the battery setup I went with was two uh, 100 amp hour, 12 volt batteries in series. So that's gonna give us 200 amp hours at 24 volts. I went with 24 volts because based on the calculations uh, with the controller, 40 amps output at only 12 volts gives you 480 watts which is probably enough, but in the case that you're running the air condition and a lot of stuff in there, you would run into a scenario where even if your panels are bringing in the full 800 watts, you can't charge your battery bank fast enough than the amount that's being pulled from it. So going with a 24 volt battery setup allows us to get up to what's 480 times two, 960 watts. So even more than our panels can provide, which allows for 
upgradability in the future. So that's why I went with a 24 volt battery bank setup. So the batteries are gonna feed into an inverter, a 1500 watt inverter, uh, 24 volt obviously, and that is going to run everything in the shed. So that is the setup. Um, I've essentially added everything to my cart and the total with taxes and everything came out to around uh, I think $1,850, so um, that's definitely a significant amount of money. This isn't a cheap project. I know this isn't a cheap project. Um, it would probably be cheaper to run a, a, a power line from the breaker to the shed, but like I said, that's I don't want to do that. This is a learning experience. This is fun. I enjoy doing this. So that is the plan. Obviously, this is part zero because nothing is going on this is preliminary i want to get uh, obviously some professionals in here to make sure the shed is stable um, i want some opinions from you guys out there if you've done stuff like this or if you know you work in the field with solar does the setup look fine does everything i listed here look like it would work based on my calculations it seems fine but like i said I haven't done a major solar project before, so I am more than open to any help that you guys can provide. So that's it. Um, I know nothing really happened in this video, but that was the purpose of this part zero video. Once everything is confirmed and we get the authorization to kind of do some construction on the shed and make sure everything checks out, then we will begin doing actual cool stuff and I will take everybody along for the ride. I plan on filming the entire setup from start to finish. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you're subscribed. If you're also interested in any other tech videos, uh, that's what this channel is usually about. So if that interests you, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a like. We've got over a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. So let's keep it going. All right, that's it. Um, it's hot. We have to do a little bit of uh, obviously cutting the grass and some tweaks to the shed. So I'm gonna go do that and sweat and die. So hopefully I will see you in the next one.